Welcome to Audit Archive, where we run you through some of the most questionable and rather atrocious police encounters. Today, we're looking at a case where a police officer on a power trip unlawfully detained two people exercising their freedom of speech and even falsely arrested one of them by lying about the law. In a video posted in September 2023, Two men who are part of the Unprofitable Servants Ministries were standing on a public easement and preaching their message outside a church. Neither of them caused a disturbance to anyone. In fact, they didn't even directly interact with a single person walking in or out of the church. All they had was a sign, and one of them used a megaphone. Eventually, the Cleburne Police Department received a complaint against the two men, alleging that they were too loud, causing disturbance. This was essentially a noise complaint, and Officer Robert Blunk, who was out on patrol duty at the time, responded to the scene shortly after. Bear in mind that Officer Blunk was there to investigate, not make an arrest. This was because a mere complaint did not mean that a crime was surely committed. Hi. Do you have a permit? The dwelling in truth. Need to see your ID, please. Is well, there a reason why, sir? Yeah, loud noise complaint. Yeah. Well, do you have a noise ordinance coming? We do. Okay, what is it? I need to see your IDs, so please. We're asking for the noise ordinance. I'm asking you for your IDs. Sir, I'm asking you a question. I'm yeah, not. First off, I wasn't talking to you. I'm talking yeah. to you. Well, if, yeah, I well, need well, to see you your identification. Why do you need to see my ID for? Because yeah. you're creating a loud noise disturbance. Sir, I need you, to see your ID. Do you uh, have the ordinance number, though, sir? If we don't give you the ID, will you yeah. arrest us? Yes, Absolutely. Right off the bat, it became pretty obvious that Officer Blunk wasn't there to try and figure things out. He was there to achieve the complete opposite. He approached the men with hostility, even though he denied it, and clearly didn't want to investigate anything at all. This is why the situation had already escalated just a minute into the encounter. Officer Blunk was apparently concerned with the man in blue, namely Mr. Aaron, who was ordered to provide ID because there was a noise complaint. Now before anything else, let's make something clear. Article 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights states that everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers. Plus, the First Amendment of the United States Constitution states that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble. Judging by this, the men had every right to speak out their thoughts and opinions. But this is where the loudness becomes a point of concern, and one that's basically the main reason for this encounter. Yeah, I will. Okay, without an order's number, sir? Yeah, at least... So You're interfering the, with my investigation least, right now. Remove sir, yourself you, from my investigation or I'm going to put you in jail. At least show us our ordinance. Why are you so, why so hostile, sir? This I'm is not wicked hostile. in the sight of God. Is, is it, is this it, uh, is an abomination. I need to see your identification or you'll be placed under if arrest. I don't. If I don't. You'll be placed under arrest. You're both making too much noise out here. We have, have the compliance because we have we have a I don't need to show you the code to arrest you on it. Now give me your ID or go to jail. Those are your two options. In his own words, Officer Blunk gave Mr. Aaron two choices: either provide ID or go to jail. Now, when it comes to the legality of the actions of Mr. Aaron and his friend, Mr. Christian, there are some important points to note. Section 42.01, Disorderly Conduct, of the Texas Penal Code states that a noise is presumed to be unreasonable if the noise exceeds a decibel level of 85 after the person making the noise receives notice from a magistrate or peace officer that the noise is a public nuisance. To explain the nuance in this rather vague law, a person can be charged with disorderly conduct if they're louder than 85 decibels. But this would apply only if he or she first receives a notice from a magistrate or police officer stating that it's a nuisance. So this simply didn't apply to the men because they were not given a notice or warning before the officer arrived. And even if they were, the officer cannot take them in without evidence. He would need a decibel meter to prove it first. Other than that, section 38.02, failure to identify, states that a person commits an offense if he intentionally refuses to give his name, residence address, or date of birth to a peace officer who has lawfully arrested the person and requested the information. There is nothing to explain here. The officer's demand for ID was unconstitutional, and both Mr. Aaron and Mr. Christian had every right to deny it. The Bible says I just don't want to go. Sir, I need to see your ID as well. Uh, You're yes, making I too do. much noise I'm now, too. I have 
And we're not, and we're not using. I'm telling you, I need your ID. Yeah. I'm not using amplification. I'm using my voice. I don't I'm care. I'm exercising my freedom of speech, sir. Right, I get that. So you're gonna arrest right, me for sir. exercising my freedom of speech? You can't. Excuse me. It's in the Bill of Rights, the Constitution. You're gonna, you're gonna arrest us freedom of if, speech if we're exercising our freedom of speech on a public sidewalk on the east. The problem is, is that we have a noise ordinance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm using my voice, sir. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're yeah. using your voice. You Definitely. can still be too loud. And people can still complain about this. So exercise. you actually were standing on the no, property this here. This is not. I'm not going to argue the sir, point. This is an easement right here. Your you, ID, sir. There has to be an easement. The Bible says. And if I don't get get all you're going to jail. Yeah. So what's it going to be? In the lake right. of fire. This, this is unlawful, sir. Two twelve. Give me another unit over here. Now bear in mind that they were both indeed standing on a public easement, according to the Legal Information Institute. A public easement is the right of the public to use certain streets, highways, paths, or airspace, even though the areas are owned by others. In a public easement, the person who owns the land has to allow members of the public to access a defined area of his land for the reasons stated in the easement. A public easement is meant for the enjoyment of the whole public. But as of now, them being over there wasn't even a problem highlighted by Officer Blunk. This changes very soon though, as you will see. The primary issue so far has been the noise, and under section 130.21, noise is nuisance, it stated that any unreasonably loud, disturbing, or unnecessary noise which causes material distress, discomfort, or injury to persons of ordinary sensibilities is declared to be a nuisance and is prohibited. Obviously, exercising freedom of speech in a way done by Mr. Aaron and Mr. Christian was arguably not unreasonable or disturbing. If anything, Officer Blunt could have asked them to lower their voices in a polite and cordial manner instead of escalating the situation. That's absolutely right. You need to see your ID. Would they be arrested if they didn't show you their ID? What are you going to complain on? That is too loud. We don't like it. Who's, who's too loud? I'm just saying, in the instance, if somebody was playing music or we could Oh, absolutely. Too. Absolutely. It's the same thing. All right, you have my ID. I'll be right back with you. Sir, I need to see your ID. Sir, I'm not doing anything unlawful. Uh, actually, you're standing in a public roadway. No, actually, so where's the easement? Because I can't stand on their property. The utility line's right there. So if you I'm telling you I need to see your ID or I'm going to put you in jail. Okay. One of two choices. Okay, I need my ID, but if you're not, if, so you're... I need to see your ID okay, now. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. Okay, well, I got the all on film because we can take this. Good, I do too. That's fine. We're not doing nothing illegal, sir. We're not doing nothing illegal. What you're doing is unlawful. You're violating our, our freedom of speech. You're violating our freedom of speech, sir. Thank you very much. Come on, stand over here with him. You're used by the devil right now. You're wicked, sir. Well, what if I tell you I don't believe in God? Well, you're gonna go to hell. Good. You're gonna burn in hell. If Join me, won't you? you That's why you're being used by the enemy right now. Yep. If you don't believe in God and you die in your sins, Please, man, you're gonna go to hell, man. If Jesus died for you, man. He cares about you. You know that? He loves you so much, man. Texas, three, four, he loves six, you seven, so eight, much, eight, eight, zero, man. He cares about Aaron you so man. He cares about you, man. He died for your sins, man. You're 30 and rose again on the third day. Do you believe the gospel? Hang on a second, please. Do you believe the gospel, sir? Texas, 44002893, Leonard Gaffney. See, if this wasn't I'm real, you would have seen the spiritual warfare right here. Thing, no I don't have any idea warfare. where you can park. This, I'm, I'm dealing with something else over here. Because the truth is not being told inside this lukewarm congregation. This is a lukewarm congregation right here. Hey, shut up. Jesus Christ is coming back with vengeance. I'm and fixing to put fire. you in jail on a noise ordinance violation. Jesus Christ is coming back to destroy sinners. Turn around, put chains behind your back. You're under arrest. You can't arrest him just for speaking. Really? For use for my freedom of speech? speech? Absolutely, I can. Oh, I got a noise ordinance complaint. Lawful, I'm using my freedom of speech, sir. Turn around, place your hands behind your back. I'm using my freedom of speech. Turn around, place your hands behind your back. So you arrest me for using my freedom of speech? I got a noise ordinance okay. complaint. So you're going to arrest me for using my freedom of speech, sir? I'm about to. I got it all on camera. Hey, just hey, take my See this right here? Yeah. I got it right here, too. Hey, go ahead and take my camera. You, you call, Connie. Yeah, no. No, no. If he's going to arrest me, use my freedom of speech. That's fine, man. He wasn't going to arrest you. No, I am fixing to arrest okay. him. Turn around, place your hands behind your back. Let me go ahead and get my camera, man. Let me go ahead and get my camera. That's unlawful, sir. All right, turn around, place your hands behind your back. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead and take a picture. Nah, thank you. Take a picture, man. Hey, I'm going to get my phone, man. Hey. No, you're not going to give anybody anything. I'm going to get my phone. You get my phone? I'm going to get my phone, In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. He's arresting me for using my freedom of speech, sir, on the public sidewalk. 
Well, it's a noise ordinance violation. That's the problem. This is against the law right here. He just said he hates God. He doesn't believe in God. And he's arresting me? This is what's coming, sir, to America. Preaching the truth for Christians. And this, this is, what, is coming. This is what's going to happen. You guys are not ready for the tribulation. Yeah. When we get persecuted, the Christians are going to be outlawed. What are you going to do? You're going to fight for your life? You're going to try to save your family? Hey, Mike, go and take pictures of this. Woe well, unto you. You're not going to be ready. All of Who do you want to give your phone to? You to, to, to him right there? Hey, then, this is this is what's gonna happen. He take the phone. Yeah, the code's five five six nine. Go ahead. This is sad. Oh, how do you feel, Christian? You got it. What would Jesus Christ do about this? I didn't bring no law, man. He's arrested. You're arresting a servant of the Lord. I wasn't even using an application. I'm using my voice. You can't use that pretty much too. As we've just seen, Mr. Christian was placed under arrest for violating the noise ordinance, but we've already discussed how none of that applied in this situation. Also, notice how Mr. Aaron was initially the party Officer Blunk was concerned with, and Mr. Christian was even ordered to remove himself from the investigation. Watch closely. I need to see your IDs, no, please. We're asking for the noise ordinance. I'm asking you for your IDs. Sir, I'm asking you a question. I'm not, first off, I wasn't talking to you, I'm talking yeah. to you. Yeah, at least. So You're interfering the, with my investigation least, right now. At least, Remove you, yourself from my investigation or I'm going to put you in jail. So, it's already rather outrageous that Mr. Christian was somehow in handcuffs. Note that to arrest a suspect, a police officer must have probable cause. Probable cause exists when facts and circumstances within the police officer's knowledge would lead a reasonable person to believe that the suspect is involved in criminal activity. However, no criminal activity could be articulated by Officer Blunk since none even occurred. By extension, this was a violation of Mr. Christian's Fourth Amendment right to be free from unreasonable searches and seizures. Regardless, this is where Officer Blunk completely exposes himself as a tyrannical individual who was arresting a man for no reason at all likely out of retaliation because both men initially refused to have their rights violated. Officer Blunk was simply on a power trip. Well, see, so here's the thing. After I told you to stop because I had a noise ordinance violation, you any ordinance number. You I don't need to give you an ordinance yeah. number. But that's yours. Go ahead, Danny. That's mine. This yours? Okay. There you go. Go ahead, Danny. Just no, give me a picture, man. Keep him, keep him please, man. Arresting for preaching the truth, man. So here's the deal. Like I told you when I first got here, I had a noise ordinance violation complaint. You were actually on that megaphone when I got here. Okay? I've told you to quit. You got off of it. That's why you're not going to jail. See, he kept going. That's why he's going to jail. I wasn't on the megaphone. Officer Blunk's silence says a lot. He knew that Mr. Christian didn't do anything wrong. Mr. Aaron was on the megaphone, and if that was the problem, Officer Blunk should have continued speaking to him only. Now watch as Officer Blunk secures Mr. Christian in the back seat of his patrol vehicle, and then immediately tries to bring up another crime on top of the noise ordinance violation. But this guy kept honest, yelling. Yeah. This guy kept yelling after I told him to stop. That's why he's going to jail on a noise ordinance okay. violation right now. But you don't okay. Have no I've asked you to stop and you did. At this point, they've asked you to leave the property. This isn't their property, though, sir. There has to be an easement. This is our freedom of speech right here. This is our First Amendment to exercise our freedom of speech on a public sidewalk. If there's not a sidewalk, there's an easement where the utility line is. You're doing something unlawful right now because you hate God, because you don't believe in God, sir. Is that why? Yeah, that's what you said. What if you don't believe in God? This is. I asked you. Right? Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go to my car over here. Go ahead, take That's fine. This is wicked. Lukewarm Christianity. Lying lips are abomination to God. This is abomination right here. Slide in. Let's find out if the. Did you get my keys too? find out if the congregation wants a criminal trespass warning issued. Sir, I wasn't on their property. Uh, actually, you were. No, I was not. See, the How criminal trespass the... warning only deals with curbs and stuff yeah. like that. We don't deal with any of the... Yeah, but I was not on their property, you sir. You actually were. No, I was not, sir. You I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to tell you you were. That's right. You know what? The Lord is my shepherd. Yeah. All right. Slide over this way just a little bit. Yeah. I didn't run the this guy in the gray. Um, yeah, and also find out if we want a criminal trespass warning issue. You want a criminal trespass warning issue? To me, this is church property. I don't see any sidewalks. Well, yeah. 
and they can't clear my copy if the of curb it. gets tore up, we're the ones that got to fix it and pay for yeah. it. So. How far onto the property did it come? Uh, Andy was out here with them too. Right here. He, he was right here. Right here. He was, he was, he was following he was, her over he here. Was here. Talking to me, so. uh, he was right over here. They were both within six feet. They were a lot of good times, too. Yeah. Off the roadway? Yeah, off the roadway. Did they go? Yeah. Because that's what they were. So you'll get that from him? I want her to do it. Oh, oh yeah, but I'm going to run him up to the jail. Yeah. Okay. Did they say yes, criminal trespass? everybody these two criminal trespass warnings i'm going to issue him a criminal trespass i'll write everything up if you'll just get my deed and okay somehow mr christian and mr aaron were now about to be given a criminal trespass warning but we already know that they technically weren't even on private property yet another bogus allegation all right <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna let you know uh, on video that you're being issued a criminal trespass warning. You are never allowed to set foot on this property over here again at any point in time again in the future. If you do, you'll be arrested on the spot. Do you understand that? Uh, actually, you were. Well, I'm not gonna argue that point with you. Little something you might take into consideration for future reference. Just because you can do something and have the right to do something doesn't mean it's always a good idea. Okay. You're on. Uh, you're on the end car. Um, I think we're going to have an appropriate charge of criminal trespass um, because they're on the church property and a representative of the church um, asked them to leave the property and they failed to do so. Okay. So additional charge of that? Yes. Um, I think. Uh, I'm going to detail that. I'll get the written uh, statement on that, but it seems appropriate to me. Everything uh, clearly appears to be church property here. Okay. I will do it. So, did you ask McQueen to get a statement? Uh, I asked McQueen to criminally trespass those other two. You didn't ask him to get a written statement? Not from the other two. No, not from not from those guys. No. All right. I'm going to let you go. All right. Bye. Hey man, I know how you want it to. I know you want it to be in your favor, and you want it to be your way. But it's just not going to be that way today. Well, we'll see what we'll see what the judge feels about that when you take it to court. Yeah, where did he? Oh, absolutely, it still is. It's recording right here on me. To make himself look even worse, Officer Blunt continued to get the law wrong. It's the very thing he was meant to enforce in a logical manner but completely failed at it with confidence. <laughs> it doesn't, there, so you admit, did you know there's a noise ordinance? Actually, there's not. There's a noise ordinance. There's not a decibel meter, a decibel level in there. And I don't know if you guys think that cops have to tell you the ordinance number and all that stuff. If you do, you've been watching too much TV. I don't have to tell you anything other than you're under arrest. You actually were on their property, but I'm not going to argue that with you. You can you can tell the judge how you feel about that and the easement and everything else. Easement only has to do with utilities and drainage and that kind of stuff. It's still that person's property, whether or not there's an easement or not. You weren't putting any kind of ill of a power, lighting, or, or drainage, therefore you don't have any right to be on that property. Walk on the side of the road right there. Well, there's no sidewalk there, so yeah, I guess that's what you do. You ever been to this jail before? You ever been to any jail before? No, you're, you're off.
it's, it's amplified, yeah. Well, there's there's also the use of louder, profane language, and he was doing he was doing loud language in order to uh, harass and annoy these people, and that's what that do what. Mr. Christian was booked at the Johnson County Jail, and no further updates have been made as of the date of this recording. Be sure to check out our previous video where we cover another outrageous police encounter.